The Friday Fill-Up is brought to you by Charter Spectrum. Welcome to Friday Fill-Up. In just a couple of days, the entire country of France is going to be celebrating Bastille Day. But here in Lookout Valley, you can get a piece of French history and wonderful French cuisine right here at La Cabriole. Bonjour, bienvenue. My husband likes to cook and we would invite friends and writing students and they said, Jack, you cook so good, you should open a restaurant. We said, we don't know anything about restaurant. And they said, well, that's life in America. So we started on a dare and they said, well, what you serve and where you're located, you won't be open for six months. But 33 years later, we're still in business. The French food is the freshest of natural ingredients and it is cooked to order and made special just for you. It's a healthy way and it's also a celebration, a celebration of life and using the, the food as the basis. And there's the soup course, which is usually made from fresh vegetables. Um, in the summertime, there's the um, uh, tomato basil soup that's a very popular. And then there's the appetizer course, which can either be a meat course or it can be like a quiche or it can just be fresh vegetables or it could be fresh fruit. And then uh, you usually have a choice on the main course. And uh, I usually give two or three choices, beef, uh, fish, or a chicken course, uh, whatever different uh, sauces would be served with those. And then there's the salad that comes after the main course, and that's for digestive purposes because uh, there's cellulose in the lettuce and it, you get filled up if you eat your salad before and so it, help, it aids in digestion. That's the reason for the salad after the main course. Then there's the cheese course, and in England they call it the dessert cheese because sometimes that is the dessert. But then there is a small, usually not very uh, sweet dessert, and maybe some more fresh fruits. And then coffee is also considered a course because some people bring their liqueurs and their uh, chocolates also served with the coffee. Hey my friends, we are now back in the kitchen here. I got Geraldine with me. We're getting ready to make probably the most popular dessert dish when it comes to French cuisine, cream brulee. What's all in it? It's a basic custard with uh, eggs and cream. All right, very simple. We have some fruit that we like to add to it as well. And you mentioned adding some raspberries and these are very fresh raspberries too that we can add mm -hmm. to it. And a little bit of uh, some blueberries here. Kind mm -hmm. of add the, uh, the red, white, and blue to the, uh, to the dish here. In France, it's Blue Blanc Rouge. Ah, okay. Now, what do we need to do next? All right, we'll sprinkle a little bit of the sugar on the top. And probably every man's dream is our next step, right? <laughs> if you like fire and fireworks. Yeah, fire does work here. So we have the torch here. Now what do we need to do? I'll turn the torch on right quick. And get that going. All right. And just don't burn the kitchen down. Just don't burn the kitchen. Is there any specific technique for this? Just go close and go round and round, round until and round. you see it really turning brown. Oh, that's just perfect. Now, other You're than just, just looking really great, what, what's the main reason of doing this? Well, it caramelizes the sugar, and you're just about perfect right there. You That's need it. to stop. All right. And it's uh, cool on the bottom and warm on top. All right, folks, that looks fantastic here. We have one that we did a little bit ago as well. So, again, if you're looking for something that is very unique and something that maybe you've never had before, make sure you do make your reservations here at La Cabriole. I think we should dip in and, and I try I think this. you should try it. Right. We're just coming off of our Independence Day. We have Bastille Day that's coming up for a French Independence. How is that going to factor into what you do? Well, that's the one day a year that I fly the French flag. And um, that is, if I have reservations, then I will do a, a special party and we'll have fireworks just like on the 4th of July. If I have no reservations, I will just invite family and friends and we'll still have a party in honor of Bastille Day and the French Revolution.